Swordbreaker is a new choice-based story game coming to PS4 and Xbox One. I'll do my best not to spoil any of the story in this review as that's the entire point and fun of the game. In this game, you play as Swordbreaker, a mysterious adventurer who's running out of money. After witnessing a tavern brawl, or a murder really, he's given a map to a mysterious castle where riches await. This is where you come in and take over the story. All played through beautiful comic book style graphics, you're thrust into a journey through a mysterious castle, making one decision at a time, never knowing if you might die with each encounter. Swordbreaker plays out like an old school choose your own adventure story. You're presented with one to three options on screen and choose what you'd like to do. You don't have to wait long to find out if you made the right decision as the wrong decision usually leaves you dead in some interesting and very gruesome ways. Unlike the books though, where you could always go back to the previous page you were on, Swordbreaker gives you three lives, so each time you die, you reset at the last decision and can now hopefully make the correct one to continue. There are no checkpoints or save files. If you die three times in a run, you'll be sent back to the very beginning of the story to start again. But this is where a lot of the charm of Swordbreaker actually comes in. The story itself is not long, and depending on your choices can be beaten as quickly as in 5-10 to 10 minutes, or take as long as 20-30 to 30 minutes. But learning the different paths, what each choice changes, is where the fun is. For example, early on you're given the chance to kick a skeleton, wait to see if something's going to happen, or jump out of the window. As silly as these choices seem, they all lead to very different paths. Jumping out the window lets you explore a new area of the castle you wouldn't have found before. Kicking the skeleton makes it fall apart and allows you to pick up his discarded sword to possibly use later on. Or Waiting and seeing what happens might just let you get a new ally who can help you avoid a fight or two. To add on top of the fun of making these choices, the game has a built-in morality system based off of three different traits. The heroic choices tend to be the ones where you save a person or spare a person that you meet. The killer choices see you killing everyone you meet. And then the coward choices are found when you choose to run away rather than face a challenge. If you make enough of any of these types of choices, you'll get a completely different ending to the story. The game features 59 trophies to collect based on the different actions and even includes a platinum trophy for those platinum hunters out there. It also has a gallery where you can view the art from any of the choices you made again without having to go through the story, and has 333 scenes in total for you to continue going back over and over to find them all. All in all, Swordbreaker is a very different kind of game to what I'm used to playing, but really makes me think fondly back to the days where I would stay up late at night with a flashlight reading choose your own adventure books instead of sleeping. I really did enjoy playing it and was happy to go back and get all the different endings and unlock the full story. While it does get a little repetitive having to start the story over and over again, you learn which choices take you where and are able to quickly move through the story back to the points that you wanted to get to. If you find yourself missing choose your own adventure stories, I'd definitely give this game a shot. Swordbreaker releases on September 30th and they're already planning a follow up game that acts as a prequel to the story that delves deeper into the past of the mysterious Swordbreaker. That's all for now. If you enjoyed this review, please take a moment to like the video and subscribe as it really helps the channel out. I'll catch you in the next video, and as always, happy gaming.